ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a very, very special episode of the Board Game Gateway. Tonight, what we are going to do is we are going to be hosting a game of Quest for El Dorado. Uh, Quest for El Dorado is a Reiner Knizia game. Um, one, one of, if not my favorite, board game designer. Um, quite famously has designed over 700 games. Unofficially, it's probably a lot less than that. He just he does a lot of rehashing. But hey, you know, <laughs> why not? Who cares? A Still lot of counts. them are really, really good. Um, so tonight, I am joined by two other lovely gentlemen at the table with me. We have Blake. Hello. And we have Ralph. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. So, Quest for El Dorado. What is it? It is a racing game with deck building. Interesting. Very. It was always it captured me the first time I heard that, and it still continues to capture me today. What we are doing is we are going to take one of our little dudes, and for anyone watching the video, one of our little dudes looks like this, and our little dude has to go from here all the way through El Dorado, passing through all these spaces, not those spaces, we can't go through those, and eventually we have to get to El Dorado over here. And as I mentioned, we are doing it via deck building. How are we deck building? Well, we will start with an introductory set of cards in our hand. We all start with the exact same cards. And what we will be doing is every turn we will be drawing up to four cards. And then depending on the values of the cards, we will be able to get our little guy to pass into respective spaces. So for instance, if I want to go from here over to this space over here, I need to play a card that has one sword icon on it. Much like if I wanted to go here instead, I would need to play a card that has at least one uh, paddle icon on it. And that, re that remains true even when we get to other icons such as this one over here where the double paddle icon. Special rule with that one is you must play a card that is of two paddles. Now you'll notice that I grabbed that from the card market. So that does mean just like in other deck builders, we will need to be purchasing cards from the card market. But just going back to this, this example, when we have two icons on a, on a hex and we want to move in there, we specifically have to play a card that has at least that value for that icon. So in this case, it would be the two, the, the scout or the trailblazer. What we cannot do is play two cards of lesser value to at least equal that icon. You cannot do that. Now, the last card, the last type of cards that we start off in our hand are our traveler cards. These will have coins on them. Now, these are, they have two purposes in this game. One, they can be used to go onto the yellow spaces. So mm -hmm. in this case, one, one coin, one traveler card. The other thing we can do is we can say instead, instead of using them to move, is we can say, I'm gonna spend these as two coins and purchase any card on the card market based on the value at the bottom of the card. So for instance, I could spend two travelers and I could buy a jack of all trades. You don't have to spend all of your money. Any money that you do not spend is lost mm -hmm. and we will be doing that turn after turn after turn until until one of our dudes reaches el dorado sweet the last thing the last icon that i want to point out on this map quite quickly is this gray icon here that means you have to discard a card to your discard pile uh, to go into that space over there there is also there are also these red hexes here. To go into those spaces, you have to permanently trash a card, and that's actually one of the the ways you can thin your deck um, in this game. So there is still some deck thinning av available, but that that definitely ties nicely into how you plan your movements around this map. The final thing, and I think the most the the most interesting thing about this game is for anyone watching on the video, you can see that we have a card market that is separated by this yellow banner here. The other thing that I wanna point out is that every single card 
only has three copies of it. So what that means is as we go through the game, we are going to be purchasing cards from this market, but eventually, and let's say for argument's sake, all of the trailblazers are purchased. Mm -hmm. We then have a hole in our card market. What that then means is the very next person to purchase from the market, they may go to this refill space over here, pick one type of card, and then bring that into the card market. And that fills in the space. So the interesting element there and the rub, if you will, is that you can only purchase any one of these cards down here once there is a space available up here. So you may see a few scenarios where people may not purchase the card that they want because it then makes a space available for their opponent mm. later. Cool. And that is pretty much the crux of the game. There are these little jagged pieces here. To get through them, you do need to spend cards, as I mentioned before. All they really are are tiebreakers. But once the first person removes them, it then means that uh, future players don't have to spend the same to then go through that, that space. And that is pretty much the game. There almost certainly is the odd little rule that I forgot to mention, but uh, for the most part, that well, is it, and we'll we'll cover we'll cover anything I, I I I've forgotten as we go through. Yeah, we'll uncover as we play it. Like, um, what happens to you if there's nothing there? That's not joinable. That's right? that's not joined. Yeah. Nice. No. So okay, the map cool. is a is is, is a snake shape. Is a snake shape. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. And then finally, as I said at the beginning, you can't go through these spaces here. Mm -hmm. These are mountain spaces. However, there is one card, the native, which allows you to move into any space, including mountain spaces. Cool. And I think the one thing I want to point out to you guys is any cards, just like this symbol here, if you, if you purchase a card that has the trash icon on it, it means that card is single use. Okay. Once you choose to play it, uh, it, goes it, out it is time. out of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And while we are drawing up to four cards at the end of our turn, you don't have to play all of your cards on your turn. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's do it. Let's go. Worst to first. <laughs> you forgot I was, me. <laughs> I was looking for a maple I already had. Third is like and Ralph and me. Ah, oh, nice. Coming second already. <laughs> I'd be better to lie them down. Just for the camera. Yeah, we'll yeah. do it that way. Let's do it that way for now. Cool. Okay. So, good luck, everyone. You'll need it. I don't know. All right, shuffle them up. So I've, I haven't played four. this one before. These guys both have, so I'm not expecting to come last here. No. No. Let's see how I go. No. There is a... This is the game I have not won at. Perfect. Until tonight. My son... <laughs> Ever. Ever. I can safely say that. Wow. Yes. He is a gun. Yet yeah, you still play it. Of course I play it. <laughs> Fantastic game. Okay. So I draw cards now or on my turn? On your turn. Cool. Um, all right, t technically at the end of your turn. Sure but thing. On your first turn. The, one that, the last thing that I knew I was going to forget a rule, the last thing I want to uh, just state is that as much as I said on, the, on these cards... So for argument's sake, a treasure chest is worth four. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is you can spend two non-gold cards to represent one coin when okay. you're purchasing. Okay, so these actually don't have any any current gold value, but they are worth half a gold if you choose to use it that way. Cool. All right. So what I am going to do is things and stuff. Um, I am going to spend two explorers and a sailor. Um, oh, no, I can't even get there with the sailor yet. So we're going to hold on to that. Uh, we're going to go one, two. And I'm going to end my turn there. So the two cards I played, they are discarded. The other two cards stay in my hand. And then I draw back up to full. Um, 
Easy. Draw until you have four cards in hand. So do you have six cards in your hands at the moment? No, until you have four cards in hand. Oh, okay. So you always have four. That's right. Yes. Cool. No worries. Next is me. Yep. So I draw my four. And um, all right, cool. So I've got two Explorer Swords, so I'll move twice just towards the lake area. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I've got two gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I will buy something good that's worth two gold. This one feels like a good wild card, isn't it? It is. So the Jack of All Trades, the way that, that card works is when you play it, you can use it for either one machete, one paddle, or one gold. So that it's not awesome. It's not one. It's it's either or. One or the other. Yeah. yeah. That sounds great. And I'll make a discard pile and draw four. Cool. All right. Well, that's interesting. Already, we've literally just started the game. All right. I'm going to move one forward. And the other thing I will say for anyone watching at home is you cannot move into the same space as other people. Okay. And I'm going to use... Oh, I have see. to move around. Them. So I've blocked Blake a little bit. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to use two gold and I'm going to buy a photographer. Good move. Oh, that looks good. Good move. Yeah, it's got his money engine going. That's me done. I like to call that the ABBA engine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Excuse me. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Who doesn't love ABBA? <laughs> Look, we're not going to get into the politics. <laughs> of All right, I'm going to spend one gold and one ore to go there, and then I am going to use my last two gold to also purchase a photographer. And that is my turn. Cool. Um, so right now I've got a sailor in my hands, but say I don't want to use it. Can I discard it at the end of my turn? You can, yes. Okay, so you cool. can choose to discard at the end of your turn. Awesome. So I'll move one forward uh, in the machete region yep. in the jungle. Um, I'll discard the sailor, but I've got two gold here, or two and a half gold if you count the sailor. And there's nothing worth two and a half, but I'll take a money one. Yeah. So oh, hang on, there's, oh, I can't afford the other one, so I'll take this one. That means the next person gets to Ooh. populate an interesting You've card. It I did. I opened up the market. So I'm going to come forward with the sailor first into the. Yep, and then across into the machete. Yep. And then I get to purchase. Well, you, you can pick one to put up as well. Mm. Well, I think I'm going to buy a captain. It's the moustache, isn't it? It is. It's He's very handsome. He is. Yeah. So you can only ever buy one card from the market, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we're, he we're heading into Uncharted Waters, so that's a good play. We are. Yeah. Um, thanks for helping the group, Blake. You're welcome. If good you job. want a handsome captain, he's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, for a fee. <laughs> for, a fee. <laughs> for the right price, I'm sure. Um, okay, so I am going to play my explorer. We're going to move one. Um, and then... And then I am going to also spend two. I am going to get a jack of all trades. And I'm going to hold on to my last card. And that is my turn. The captain never do to you. Alright, so I've got a machete. So I can't grow pay for it. So there's just like ongoing resentment now. Uh, Damon, I'll just move one forward in the machete region. Perfect. And I have four gold to spend with my travelers. Uh, four gold is a fair bit of gold, so I feel like I should get something good. What is this one again? Okay. That does say choose any one card from the market and place it in your discard pile so yep. to use once mm -hmm. and the market is only that's the right yes PR. so whilst it is good i can already afford everything now so um i'll get this one the three machetes i think that'll be helpful that's me Ooh. i like this game already Move forward yeah one. it's good one machete? It is super chill, but at the same time, um, very interesting. 
So what do you have to spend to go into this gold region again? One of your golds. One gold. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Hmm. Oh, I can only buy. You can only buy one card. Buy one you? card. Yeah. So you're doing the same thing, actually. Mm. I'm gonna buy Scout. I like the cut of his jib. What's a jib? <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> okay. So for my turn, I am going to spend traveler, and oh, sorry, rather explorer, and then a traveler. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I am. Going to discard my sailor to take that tile. And that Ooh. does that there. So we don't have to discard that. No. That's really cool. But like I said, like I said during the teach, the advantage of that is if two people reach El Dorado. So yeah. what what will what may happen is um, when one person reaches El Dorado, the rest of the round is played out. Mm-hmm. So if multiple people reach El Dorado at the same time, it comes down to who has the most of these at the end is what it's, matters. Do those things have a name? <laughs> they do. They're jagged tiles. Look. Oh, okay. <laughs> <They're jagged tiles. laughs> they do have a name. I will find out what it is. That's what I was just curious. I'll update others <laughs> later. Mick jagged tiles? Or? <laughs> Mick jagged tiles. Oh, so now it's my turn, yep. isn't it? You know when you're all half asleep? That was me just then. <laughs> Um, Thinking about Mick Jagger. I was. So I do have a machete and a sailor, so I can move into the forest region and then into the water. Um, and then I might play these last two for two gold. So now I have two monies. So you're going that way? <clears throat> yeah, and then into the water. Cool. Perfect. Uh, and for two money, I'll buy the, the three club sailor, the captain. Ooh. Yeah. I've got a nice balanced deck, I feel. Bit of gold, bit of sailor, bit of machete. What, what else do you need? Pirates. That's what you need. Pirates. Ah. So I'm going to discard the explorer to move up. Move in there with the handsome captain. Right, also, thinking about it, yeah, I'm going to move into the yellow space as well. Ooh. And then I'm going to buy the Jack of All Trades. <gasps> You're amazing, Blake. Anything anything bad I've ever said about you in the past <laughs> is just a lie. All right. That gives me options then. I'm going to spend one Explorer to go that way. Oh, he's sidestepping. And then I am going to spend four to buy me a Cartographer. So, what do they do? The cartographer lets you draw two cards from your draw pile Ooh. straight into your hand. Lovely. So, it means that even though at the end of our turn we need to have a hand size of four, the cartographer lets you break that rule temporarily. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. So, those gray symbols, I have to discard a card just to move into it. So, That's I right. could do this. I might discard a card, discard a card, and then play a gold to finish here. Discard a card, discard a card, play goal. Checks out? Checks out, and I'll just discard my last card and not buy a card this turn. Cool. Just when I said I had a balanced deck, I drew everything I can't use. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. All right. Well, I might do something similar. I'm going to discard, discard, and gold. Ooh. And then a sailor. So wow! So, no, no. no, no, he's no. cutting the uh, corner. Two no. discounts. He's yeah. blocking you out. That's what no, he's doing. You know what? I retract my previous statement, Blake. <laughs> that well, was, that put was the a great play, Blake. If you put the cartographer back, then that's I fine. reinstate everything I ever said about you. <laughs> yeah, he's going to use those extra two cards to just go around the whole board. He's got to go back and collect his keys. It's true. Oh. Let's see how this plays out. I'm going to spend all three. Oh, sorry, all four rather for three for three coins. And I'm just going to buy that. So that's just a f- one use for coins. That's right. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Um, so I'll spend a gold and a sailor to move 
Yeah. Um, doesn't really cut you off, but it looks like I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I have two gold remaining. Um, and I think with that two gold, um, I'll clear up the last captain, please, Damien. There you go. Thank you. And that's nice because that's yep. not the way I wanted to go anyway. So thank you, Ralph. That's all right. You can go around me now. Um, now that we are getting into some of the spaces that have um, multiple symbols, mm. well, like I said earlier, you can't spend two lesser value symbols to walk in. Yeah. But what you can do, for instance, if you happen to have a three machete, you could go one, two, three. Yeah. Does that make sense? Perfect. Cool. But what you couldn't do, for instance, let's say you had the five machete and you happen to go one, two, three, four, and you bait or better examples you go from here so one, two, three, four, you there's no change left on that. The card Okay, cool. To okay? use once, yep. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna move into there. Two with the scout. And then I'm gonna jack of all trades and Oh, uh, you did it. The barrier. Damn. Nice. Then the map shifts. Just a little bit. Nice. Do I want to buy anything? That's not open, is it? It is open market. Yeah, there's, an, market. there's an empty there's spot. One spot. I took available. the last captain. Ralph, I take back everything I've ever said about That's you. That's twice I've left the market open for you. I just can't resist a good deal. Hmm? I think I am going to buy a compass. Ooh, what's the compass do? So it's draw three cards, but it's one time use. Okay, and the cartographers like every time you every get time. It. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, I am in fear of falling behind, so I need to start focusing on moving and less and less on just getting cash. So we're going to spend. We're going to discard these two explorers to go there and then there. Then I'm going to spend my cartographer to go one, two. Then I'm going to spend my jack of all trades to go there. Cool. And are you buying a card or no? Nope. Not this turn. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm going to spend two gold, three gold, and these are half each. So I've got four gold and I'm going to buy the cartographer. Good move. Big so fan I'm actually, of the cartographer. I'm not moving, but it will help me for the rest of the game. Hmm. Not sure if I should do the same or not. I think not. I'm a big fan of not, Blake. Yeah, I think I'm going to move. I'm going to move one into here. No, sorry. Discard for there. And then I'm going to captain into here. I'm going to regret not getting any captain cards in a second. <laughs> well, I feel like we've already gone past the water. Yeah, but there's. I can see the, myself getting stuck. Get, oh, getting absolutely and stuck. A, yeah, at the end, yeah. And are the maps variable? Are they back to back or something? They're variable, so the tiles awesome. are back I'm... back to back, and there are more tiles in the box. Wow! I'm going to buy um, another compass. We'll show off some of them at the end of the game. That sounds cool. Uh, your turn, Damien. Ah, <gasps> Blake, you're amazing. I am. <laughs> take it, take it all back. I'm we can we can, end, we can end the video here. <laughs> I'm going to spend my treasure chest to buy the last cartographer. Oh, as a start. I was going to do that, but, but now I've got, got options. Um, options. Then I am going to play the cartographer that I have in my hand. Nice. Now I can't buy any more from the market, but I, I was absolutely going to do that anyway. Because um, technically, what you are supposed to do is you're supposed to use your cards for movement first, and then decide what you're going to buy. But the cartographer is too good. It was just excited. I was just excited. Yeah. Cartographer was always going to happen. Okay. So what we are going to do is a thing. Um, I am going to discard that to move there. I'm going to play our explorer to go there. And then I'm going to hold on to the, these two cards. And that is my turn. All right, I'm going to have another slow turn. I am going to be falling behind a little bit, but I think I think it's worth it. So I have three gold there. I'm going to make it a fourth gold. Now I'm going to put this into the market, Ooh. which I realize helps everyone, but at least I've got the card in my deck. Very nice. That's um, 
That's pretty good. It is a pretty good deal, isn't it? These up. I think what I'm going to do there, and I might be selling myself short here, not picking up enough stuff in the market. But I'm actually going to blitz forward ahead, go <laughs> scout into there. Oh, he cut and me then off. Discard three. three cards. Wow. You cut me off there. What are you doing? That is a spicy move. It's an aggressive play. It is. Well, I got four gold. <laughs> so we're going to buy an adventurer. <laughs> Damn. And that is my turn. Unfortunately, I don't have four gold, so I can't I can't clean up the market there. But, but what do you do? All right, so I'll discard one card to move myself here. Then I'll play a three trailblazer to go in this two machete. And like Damien said, you don't get change. I'll play a three thing to discard it and go there. And then I'll play another three one to go here, here, and then back there. Just just to get used to the card, really. Yeah. But that's all I'm doing. It was just a bit of a wild current there. We back a little bit, yeah. but it's fine. Change of winds. Yeah. Mm. Do I do that now is the question. You let me win, Blake. Mm. That is the correct response. You just let me win. Look where I am, all the way back here. I think I'm going to hold it. It's never healthy to hold it in. No. Now, when you cross a barrier, you don't have to actually physically move through it, right? You just come up against it. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. So I'm going to discard. Explore. They are. And then I'm going to break that barrier. As well. Ooh. And we shift that. Well, breaking down barriers, this bleep. Yep. One board what game we, at a time. What do we call them? The, <laughs> the zig? I don't know. Living on the edge. <laughs> and then I'm going to hold on to my last card. It's interesting that this is a race and you're not getting points from building the cards. Like, mm. Yeah. 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 All right, we're going to play a jack of all trades to go there. Um, and then I think I have too much money in my deck. <laughs> yeah, that's never a bad thing, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I've been stuck here for two rounds now. <laughs> Just adding cards to, to, to the deck. All right, so oh, the, the market's open for me. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to play my cartographer to draw two cards. And that's all in my deck now. Oh, I do have a bit of cash. Um, so, so that's a use once. Yeesh. I am about to shuffle my deck though. I don't have to put something in the market. Don't have to, no. Yeah. What is this guy? The native allows you to move into any space. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Just knows the land. Super strong card. Definitely. All right. Um, okay, so I'll just play my three gold. Um, and what I'll do with that three gold is... I'm going to buy this one. Mm -hmm. It's another spot in the market. Um, wow. And then I'm going to just discard a card. I'll keep one card in my hand for my next turn. That's me. Cool. I'm going to play Compass. And I guess that's discarded. Yep. Permanently. Drawing three cards. That's it. Got three. Hang on. Oof. Well, I guess this might be my go turn because I'm going to compass again. Whew. Oh, wow. Big, big play. Going through his entire deck. Big brain, big play. I got nothing of what I wanted. No, just, just big play. <laughs> Forget about the first part. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> It's terrible. It is good. really terrible. Yeah, it just makes me think of that um, primary school song. You know, you can't go under it. <laughs> you can't go over. <laughs> Oof. See, now you have too many cards in your hand. Yeah. The yeah. right, the right thing to do here is just to pass. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> 
So I'll get three of them. One. Jack of all trades. Yep. I like how he's going the long way around. Not this guy. Mind you, you're saying you have too much coins. There's a lot of coins in that real estate yeah, over there. Is, yeah. Just the sailor. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to buy anything. Ooh. Market is wide open. The market is very wide open right now. Well, I've got two cartographers, so I'm going Whoa. to draw four cards. Go, cartographer. What did you get for me? Ooh. You know, that's not too shabby at all. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to play one explorer. We are going to discard a sailor. Play another explorer. And I am then going to spend five to buy a native and one of those is a treasure chest which is out of the game nice all right i'm gonna do similar to what blake did discard three cards go in there discard a fourth card to go there i was kind of just waiting for the right card to come out but didn't happen your turn blake mm. here we go one two Discard one of them. And play that there. And then I'm going to keep my fourth card. Hey, did well. Cool. I am have to, <clears throat> I'm going to have to go in a roundabout way, but let's see how we go. I'm going to play my adventurer to go there. Explorer to go there. Another explorer to go into there and we will hold on to that last card i'm moving look at me go and i'm not purchasing any awesome all right so i'm going to play a three explorer a trailblazer so i'm going to go one two and i'll spend the gold to go here um and then i'll just discard one card and i'll keep one card in my hands for later cool. that's me did he buy the native? We're moving now. I think he did. He buy the native. Damien bought the native. I bought yeah. one native. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think his name is Steve. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> that may be culturally inappropriate, and we do apologise. <laughs> I'm gonna go to explore. We're in El Dorado. It's a tourist attraction. <laughs> it's not really a native. <laughs> and then I'm gonna Fair. break this barrier as well. Damn, I think he's got the tiebreaker just covered now. Yeah. You know. So how does that? So we just shoot that. Yeah, uh, we might. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Okay, just FYI, that's not connected. We nailed that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just do that. Is it meant to be like that? No, it's best no. one over. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's no fine. No worries. Let's move to Eldorado. Cool. All right, so the question I have is, do I want to move or do I just want to buy stuff? Um, let's move. Let's do both. <laughs> then let's buy stuff. Uh, let's buy the Trailblazer. Nice. Just in time, huh? Just in time. We need right. to go into my discard pile and disappear for a little so while. So I'm going to play my compass that's out of the game after I play it, but I get to draw three cards, and I hope to get what I... No, well, maybe. So that's out of the game. Mm -hmm. But I did pick up my cartographer, which allows me to draw another two, which is my entire draw pile, and I did get what I needed. So, two gold, it takes me there. Um, and then I have two, three, four gold, and that will get me there. And then I'm sort of stuck there. No, you can't do it that way. You have to have a four power card. You need, you need a oh, four card. It needs to be gold. the one card. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let's buy a four card. So, you got two gold to go there. Yeah, that's right. That's there. So I've got a one, a two. I've got four gold. Um, and let's. I need five gold to buy that special one. Yep. So I'll discard these two as well. Or you could add a new card to the market. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to add that card to the market. Yep. Take, that, take one of those. That costs five gold. Yeah, I did that. Yep. So I've got three there, discarded those two. 
And that's four gold. What? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, apologies. Yes, you're yeah. all right. Sorry. And I've had one card to discard. In case that I can't count. And that's it. Now everything gets shuffled in and I draw four cards. Okay. So one, one card's going to make me move. <laughs> Damn. Ooh, you got see. this. I didn't see that. Didn't see what? The discarding. No, no, the double. The double discard. Yeah, double oh. discard. So that's just another single. Double trouble. Actually, it doesn't matter. See, you should have passed earlier. I'm going to should have explore. No, that's still a double discard. Yep. Alright. Alright, well that's fine, I think. Mm. It's gonna have to be. <sighs> Captain Philip. Can move three. Yeah. yeah. But, but I've just used my two water, so I don't even want to get maroon myself out here. Well, to be fair, I might be stuck where I am and Damien's pretty far back. So. Yeah. No, I'm going to go here instead. Oh, he's going to play it safe. So you didn't want to just hang out playing water polo for a bit? <laughs> Marcos. Cause. All right, I'm going to play my cartographer. Draw my two cards. Play a second cartographer. Draw two more cards. Did I get what I needed? Nope. <laughs> That's okay. That is fine. Um, what should we do? Could do that. Let's do that. Yep. Okay, so we are going to play the native to go there. Yep. Going to discard to go there. Play the explorer to go there, and then I am going to spend five to buy me another native. Yeah, the native seems so good. I should have grabbed the native instead of that four gold, like an idiot. Mm. All right, I'll play the cartographer. I'll get two cards, and hopefully, I get what I need. Uh, I did not, um, but that's okay. So let's buy something good. Take this opportunity to buy something. So I've got four, I've got five gold here to spend, and I will buy the last native, please, Damien. Good job. Thank you. So there's still one card in here that's going to allow me to move. Let's see how I go. Could go around. No. <laughs> <That'd be> silly. <laughs> Terrible idea. I, th I thought I'll buy a Stop good it. card instead. <laughs> this isn't good. Don't like water polo. <laughs> no, I think I think I actually am going to be playing water polo after all. If it turns out I would have been fine if I did last turn, but that's okay. As I pass you in a minute, I'll call out Marco. <laughs> <laughs> and then I might just buy a scout. I'm gonna discard the other ones. Cool. All right. So we're gonna spend my explorer to go there and then I have three to spend and I have choices so I could buy the travel log and what the travel log does is allows you to draw two cards from your draw pile then choose up to two cards in your hand and remove them from the game so it's a really good way to thin out your deck um, could buy a journalist which is worth three gold not so keen on that one so I think I'm just going to buy the last traveler it could be a Terrible move, but we're gonna find out. All right, I was hoping you didn't take the last spot on the market because I have my eye on a card. Okay, that I wanted to buy because I can't move again. Um, but I have two gold here. Uh, oh, I can't afford the card I want to get. Bugger. What? What? Terrible. Huh? Um, but that's all right. I'll buy. Yeah. So for four gold, uh, I will buy. No, for three gold, sorry. Was this the one that lets you thin out your deck? Yes. So draw two cards from your draw pile, then choose up to two cards in your hand. In your hand. Yes, so you draw... So you have a slow turn. Oh, That's but you draw right. two yeah. cards. So you draw two cards first. I'll take that. Yep. I'll put that in the market. And just for those watching at home, the last card that we haven't spoken about in the market is called the Scientist. Um, it allows you to draw one card from your draw pile, 
then choose up to one card from your hand and remove it from the game. Um, it's similar to the travelogue, except it is not a discard. Oh, sorry, it's it's, it's not a trash card. I should yep. say. Yep. Um, this this stays in your deck. Hmm. A decision to make here. You don't. Do you move back? Let Damien. <laughs> That's it. Well, he's got two natives. He's going to catch up quick. I don't. Damien does. Yeah. But I'm blocking him right now. So. Well, I think he's going oh, to no, make him move into the rock yeah, with it. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I'm going to Captain Philip again. I, mean, that I think I've left it too late because he's got all the captains. I'm going to. Yeah, but him. there's not much water left. No, true, but. Discard. No. No. I've got I've got a captain as well. He's, he's got, got two. He's got two. Yeah. I think I've left it too late. But let's see. And then I'm going to discard out of the game the traveler to move into here. Very good. Nice. Mm. Cool. I'm also once again going to buy a scout. Nice. Scouts are working well for you. Yeah. That makes sense to me. There's a yeah. lot of green on this map. That's right. All right. I'm going to play my cartographer. There are only one gold, so. Draw two cards. Nice and cheap. And he did it. Mm. He drew the native. Nice. Go on there. Damn. Um, and then. What can I do? Discard two again? Yuck. Oh man. These aren't great options. But at the same time, there's not many great options left. There is one good option. You could let me win. No. <laughs> Terrible. I don't think letting you win is going to have anything to do with it. Do we play for second place? Why? Well, there's no point playing for second. Oh, you either win or you go. lose. <laughs> um, just, just rub yeah, salt. Yeah, I'm going to have to spend all four. We're going to get the giant machete, which allows you to move six, but it is a loss card. Yeah, he'll save that till the end, I think. Yeah. I um, just realized I can't. That's a four. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought that was three. You can scout yeah. ahead and realize you can't go ahead. That's a lot of paddles. Um, so, would you believe, out of all that deck, the card I needed is one of these last two. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I am moving again. Uh, but I have three gold to spend. Uh, and for three gold... Um, Thankfully, I won't really need gold anymore, but I might grab the same card you just did. Oh, no, the travel log. Okay. Travel log's good. I'll get the travel log. got two travel logs in my deck now. Cool. That's me. Well, that changes things, doesn't it? It did, didn't it? It did. Yeah, you've got to reassess your life now. I do. <laughs> All those terrible choices. Yeah. Wow. Well. I was only joking. I hope you don't have an existential crisis at the mm. table because I don't know how to help you, Blake. I am not skilled <laughs> in areas of psychology. That's okay. Ralph, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset with my own choices here. <laughs> don't know whether to stick with it or bail. I think I have to bail because I don't have enough money to buy a prop plane. Just going to look at what this one is, sorry. You can do the S's. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm just going to have to. I can't even afford that. Bloody hell. Wow. Okay. Ooh. It's yeah. going around. He has to. He's got no choice. This is the big brain play. And then I'm going to. Just go on the sailor. Oof. Slowed down a bit. All right, I got my cartographer. You did. I had my ma I had it planned out because I thought that was a three. Yeah. Hey Blake. 
Ooh, big turn. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'll hold on to that. Sugar. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm annoyed because not only did I draw my full gold card, I also drew my native on the last. <laughs> <laughs> so I've had a pretty rough time here, but I'm going to just try and catch up a little bit here. Now, I do have four golds to spend in the market, uh, and I might buy a travel log again, and hopefully that helps me out. Who knows? I could come for a swing. It could be because I've got three travel logs in here now. Well, I'm just going to have to move three and discard my captain again. All right. Sorry, I'm just shuffling back up. All right. The downsides of this edition are these small cards. They are difficult to shuffle. <laughs> it's pretty good fight. They're yeah. sleeved as well, so it makes them extra slippery. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to play the Explorer. And then we are going to discard two. And we're going to play Native. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to catch up a little bit here. Big, big game. Big game. Big All right, game. let's go. So three. One, two, three. I have a Cartographer. Let's see what happens. I have a travel log. So I draw two, and then I can... I immediately trash two, I believe. Uh, so we'll get rid of the gold from the game. And I'll get rid of... Well, this is a tough decision. I'll get rid of this three sailor. That's rough. Uh, is this now discarded from my from the game, yep. the yes. travel log? Okay. So I'll chuck that over there. I have another travel log. So I draw two, and I'll discard two from the game as well. And then that's gone. Now, I have three Trailblazer. One, two, three. Uh, do I want to wait for my native? No, I'll play my two gold to go there. And that's me. So I caught up. I caught up. That was a decent play. Yeah. Well, they're trash. Don't do that, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> I think Damien's going to finally yeah. win this game. Damien has finally won the game. Make it official. I'm going to use Trailblazer, so we're going to go there. And then I'm going to use my native to walk into there, and that is game. Well, well done. Well done. I actually won one. On, <laughs> on video, no less. <laughs> it happened. It was recorded. So what I think this says is we're worse than your son at this game. Look, you know what? I am very, very lucky to say that I am the father of an exceptionally smart kid. <laughs> that is, it pushes you. That is not anything. That, like I, I wouldn't take that statement too lightly. <laughs> okay. So, what did you guys think? Right. I really, I really liked it. The yeah. simplicity of the card drafting and drawing, like that was a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Like, I dislike four paddles, but um, fair. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's. A, it's everything that I remember it to be. It's, it's just so simple. Yeah. So fun. Yeah. The cool thing about it is that there is a ton of replayability. So as we spoke about during the game, like these tiles, they are double-sided. There are set maps in the book, but if you go to um, Board Game Geek, there are a ton of fan-made maps, just mm. variations oh, really? on maps. That's cool. Um, if you, there are some um, guidelines, some, there's some advice, again, you have to look on, board game geek on how to set up your map because there are ways to set things up that you could just make it exceptionally brutal uh, but still it doesn't change the fact that it is a brilliant game i love the card market design um, i love the fact that there are cards that, that one person chooses what comes in and if you if you get to a point where you are um sort of watching what other people are doing or if you see where people are on the map you might turn around and say no i'm going to bring this card in it may not benefit me as much as the other cards, but it absolutely uh, puts you at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So I love those little things. Um, what I will say is this version of the game, this is the Ravensburger version of the game. Apologies, mm -hmm. I think yep. that way might be better. <laughs> um, but 
there is a new edition that has just come out uh, with lovely um, art by Vincent Dutre. Um, I don't know who the publisher is here in Australia, and there are different publishers around the world, but it is absolutely in, um, available in stores at the moment. It is a brilliant game. If you see it, I I cannot recommend it enough. It is it is one of the most played um, uh, games that we have at home. Like I said, I play it with my kids a hell of a lot, and it is really, really simple as far as deck builders go. Yeah, um, it's really straightforward, and this whole race mechanic that it, that is kind of woven in with it, it just makes it all that much more interesting. Yeah, I thought it was great. Thanks so much for showing us, Damien. That was a lot of fun. Oh, Congratulations on your victory <laughs> as well. <laughs> First time. <laughs> I hereby officially retire from the Quest Room. I was going to say we'll play again, but I guess not. No, no, no. <laughs> no worries, but thanks for joining us, everyone, and uh, we'll catch you on another one. Cool. See you all. all right. See you. See you.